field. But here we go now. We're getting ready to go with our first qualifying heat race. It is 10 laps in length, and here's how we're lining them up. Starting on the pole from Goshen to the end, the B&G Racing Photos, number 25, Bob Gangwer. Outside row number one, driving the Orange Crate Brewing Company, Bellinger Auto 02. Boy, he uh, just missing out on the on the front row. He had a slight bobble out there. He, he was so fast in practice. We'll watch him here in this heat race. From Fulton, New York, it's Kyle Perry. Perry in the 02. Starting in the inside of row number two. From Stoneham, Massachusetts, driving the number seven, sponsored by Star Speedway. It's Nelson Hot Rodriguez. Rodriguez in the seven, rounding out the field in the U.S. Foods, number 24. It looks like it could be, uh, well, we're looking here. We may have an issue. Keep your eyes on Jeff Bevins out there in the U.S. Foods 24. Jeff had a wild ride in his heat race or in his time trial run, got down low and skipped up and over the skipped up and over the uh, hub rail down there. Well, the field is rolling now behind the Supers pace car. The sun setting here at uh, beautiful Madeira Speedway. Pace car pulls off. Gangler and Perry will bring them down for the start. And then Rodriguez and Bivens. Here they go. Get ready, folks. Coming off of turn four. Heat race is green. We're racing at Madeira. And wow, Kyle Perry shot out of a cannon. Kyle Perry doing a great job in the Orange Creek Brewing 0 2. Nelson Rodriguez third, Devin's fourth. And the caution flag is out. Caution flag out on the racetrack. Nelson Rodriguez around and turn three. What a start by Kyle Perry out of Fulton, New York. He keeps this up. He could be starting fourth in tomorrow night's Summit Classic 125. We'd have to go back and look at our record books. Kyle, a former Supers member uh, when he was a little younger, before his college days, and then ended up going uh, to college and racing his own race car. And now he's back running supers. Glad to have him. But we, we're not sure. We don't think that Kyle has ever started a Summit Classic before. But we'll have to get. We'll have to ask him. Maybe he'll make it into Victory Lane here tonight. We'll be watching for that. Beautiful yellow zero two, sponsored by Bellinger's Auto and Orange Crate Brewing. Well, the white flag's out. Safety car will be peeling off in turn one this time. Perry will bring the field down for green. Here they come. Watch them now. Out of turn four. Green flag flies. Bivens spins, but uh, no caution. Gangler with trouble out there. Looks like he may have damage on the back of the car.
Perry with a big lead now over Nelson Rodriguez. And trouble for Bivens again on the front stretches. Gang were fighting a horrible family race car after contact in turn one. Up front, look at Kyle Perry go. Nelson Rodriguez in second. Right flag's out. Here comes Kyle Perry. He's going to win your first qualifying heat race. Kyle Perry with a win. Nelson Rodriguez second. Bivens off the track. Gangler's going to finish in third. And Kyle Perry will park it in Victory Square on the front stretch of Madeira Speedway. His first win here at Madeira. Well, there's heat race number one in the books, folks. Congratulations to your winner, Kyle Perry, out of Fulton, New York. Well, here's the starting lineup for heat race number two. It's another 10-lap qualifying heat race, and this is the way we're going to line them up. On the pole from Liverpool, New York, driving the... Southern Hill Storm football team number three. It's Brad Keezer. Keezer in the three starts on the pole. Outside of row number one, his protege from Round Lake Beach, Illinois, driving the number 22, sponsored by the Midwest Super Modified Series and Atkins Glass, Zach Sears. Sears. Rolling out the field, driving the number 42, Docker Titanium Roadster, Carl Bonsai Becker. So, your Rookie of the Year, the icing's on top, Rookie of the Year from last year, Brad Keezer, is on the pole this one. And the guy that won Rookie of the Year this year... Nobody can touch him, even though we still got one race left to go. Zach Sears is outside row one. You see that bright yellow stripe and those yellow numbers? That lets everybody know, like Carl Becker, that he's a rookie. Here they come off of turn four. Watch him now. Green flag. Down into turn one they go, and Keezer and Sears are side by side. We're cockpit with Carl Bonsai Becker. And the duck. Oh! Oh! He drills. Zach Sears. Uh, I don't know. Sears... Uh, looks like well, it might be a complete reset. We're not sure if we got one lap. We did not get one lap. Race control saying that there will be a complete restart. And that was all on Carl Becker as he just got in too deep into turn number one, or excuse me, turn number three and drilled Zach Sears right in the rear nerf bar. So, uh, Zach getting a hello, how you doing? From the old guy from Michigan. As we reset this second heat race. Here they go now. They're rolling. Safety car will peel off this time here in front of the beautiful grandstands, covered grandstands at Madeira Speedway. You get a chance, there's a lot of action on MAV TV uh, from Madeira. Don't get to see much super modified racing, but uh, you can get a good look at that track. Here we go now, we're going to line them up again. Green flags out, we're racing.
Wow, up front it's Keezer. Then Sears. And then Carl Bonsai Becker. You'll want to keep an eye on Keezer. He's your defending Summit Classic champion. And if whoever wins this one will start inside of row number three. Oh, a Becker around down in turn three. Caution does not come out. Race stays green. <laughs> that was more of a slide for life than an actual spin for uh, the old guy there. And how about that split screen by Breeze Graphics? Fantastic action there. And now back on Carl Becker as we see him uh, see him struggling out there a little bit up front. It's Brad Keezer in the Southern Hills football team. Number three. Justice League also a sponsor for Keezer. He's on lap number seven. And he is flying. Look at him. Forcing that number three around Madeira Speedway. Brad Keezer. On 11.804. White flags out for your leader, Brad Keezer of Liverpool, New York. And he's down and around turn three and four here he comes now to take the checkered flag Brad Keezer wins heat race number two Zach Sears in for second and then Carl Bonsai Becker well we're going to put Brad Keezer into victory square here at Madeira Speedway and then we're going to give you a chance to hear from our heat race winners on the Supers Broadcasting Network congratulations to Brad a great run for him as Zach Sears waves when he goes by to say congratulations to the guy that's helped him a lot learn how to race these super modifieds. Brad Keezer, winner here at Madera Speedway on pole night for the 16th Annual Summit Classic 125.